Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've been going with a little bit of a theme throughout the week and today I decided that I just wanted to give you a chill laid back voiceover makeup tutorial because I know that video on Friday was super long but it's something I want to try to start doing every week, every other week. Probably not but every once in a while because I can't afford a full face of makeup from that many brands but I want to try it. Because I really like that concept and seeing how it turns out when you use one brand's makeup to see what's really good and what's really not. So, we're going to go ahead and play our intro. Okay, so today, as you can see, I'm sure in the title, we're using mostly crepe fines, stuff on the eyes and a little bit of other stuff everywhere else, but I just wanted to give you this quick eye tutorial. It's a little bit of a soft cut crease, uh, has a really pink reddish vibe to it, which is, of course, my absolute favorite. Y'all already know that. So that's what we went with today, and I tried out a lippy that I have been dying to use. This is called Sangria. I'm in love with it. It's amazing. But yeah, so we are just going to go ahead and skip straight into the tutorial and then I'll talk to you a little bit again at the end. So first things first, we went into Bubblegum Sex. This is a really pretty bright pink and I use this as a transition shade, which is weird for me, but I wanted to start off the crease with something bright and amazing and this is where I centered my whole look. Then I went into Mauve Unicorn. It's got a tiny bit more of an orange pool, so it comes off a little darker. I just used this on a fluffy brush and blended it in with the first color so that it could give it a darker effect in the crease and made sure to smoke it out. Then I took Sangria. This is a deep uh, brown and used it in the outer corner. Then cut a crease and took Bitch Please on a flat packing brush and put that on the first about half of the lid and then took Tickled which is so pretty and put it on the outer half of the lid and drug it across the cut crease as well. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, my main goal for today really was to play with all of these new singles from Crate Finds. And I managed to play with five out of six, which there is one more. If y'all want to see it, um, I will be doing a look with it very soon. This gorgeous green right here is another diamond pressed brand new that I wanted to play with today but I knew with this look I could use all these shadows because I used everything except for let's toast out of these six so I did use almost all of them and I adore this look this is so cute and I'm so sad I don't have anywhere to go <laughs> but yeah that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed and uh I'll see you in a couple of days, probably for a wear test Tuesday. So uh, I hope you'll have a wonderful day or not, wherever you are. And I'll see you later. Bye, you guys.